New tonight at 11, we have new information from police about the suspect in yesterday's hostage situation in Irving. And as we are learning, yesterday was not the man's first encounter with law enforcement, and he was actually on the run from police. To on your sides, Leanne Stuck joins us now from the newsroom with the timeline of what happened here. We're learning more tonight about the suspect that led New York State Police on a chase that ended in a two-car crash and a hostage situation Tuesday night. Chautauqua County Sheriff James Quatrone said 43 year old Hiram Rivera was fleeing police when he collided with a pickup truck that burst into flames on Route 438 in Collins. Quatrone said Rivera had two warrants out for his arrest, stemming from two separate incidents, one for grand larceny on May 25th and uh, on June 8th, we received a call of a uh, um, home invasion in Stockton, New York on Route 380. Um, upon investigation, uh, uh, we discovered that Hiram uh, Rivera had entered that house and uh, we ended up getting uh, warrants for him for burglary in the first degree, two counts of grand larceny and then strangulation in the second degree. During the home invasion, Rivera allegedly strangled a woman, causing her to pass out. Quatrone said she called police when she woke up. State police spotted Rivera's vehicle, which led to the chase and crash. Subsequent to the chase, the individual was involved in a two-car personal injury auto accident. And at that time, he took one of the individuals that was inside of his vehicle hostage and took him into a wooded area that was adjacent to the crash. Rivera was taken into custody after more than a three-hour long standoff. He's currently being held at the Chautauqua County Jail. We're happy that he's in custody, and uh, at least for the time being, that He's not a threat to anybody, um, to any innocent individuals, uh, community members, or to any law enforcement. And the Chautauqua County Sheriff also said that both victims, including the one who was taken hostage last night, are both said to be okay. In the Information Center, Leon Stock, Channel 2 News.